Greetings and welcome back to another Laser Corn Channel video. Too loud? I'm sorry. You didn't say gamers what? either. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Table topping. Greetings, gamers. I guess well, we're still gaming. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tabletop gaming is gaming. When we last left our players, uh, they had just escaped from the Coliseum. We have with us, of course, Wes, who is playing uh, Sky, Jovin, our DM, Mari, who's playing Kaizen, and of course, Noah, who's playing Deborah. A dude named Debra. <laughs> I'm not sorry, not a dude. dude, a gnome dude. Yeah. Oh, he's showing uh, the picture, showing yeah. the picture. Oh, yeah, a yeah, naked gnome yeah, yeah. dude. Bring and I did back. just find out that I did have armor with me. I just accidentally chose to never put it on. Okay, okay. cool. <laughs> but now, so I'm still naked. Hopefully, okay. But, but I have clothes with me. Okay. Uh, if you missed last <laughs> episode, there'll be a link to that in the description. <laughs> also, uh, I, uh, another campaign we is going on. We have two campaigns going side by side. And also, but let's get back in there. Jovin, what are we doing? Um, what are we doing? Oh, we're episode two. As Lasercorn stated, you guys have left the Coliseum. It's been a few days, so yes, you've had your long rest. So the beating that you guys took in the Coliseum, you've healed from, you have all of your spells back. Um, cool. You might actually oh. use one of them effectively this time. <laughs> Uh, Sorry, I looked in your book. Uh, I saw a word in there. Oh my god. Slurping. How are you able it was to... slurping. It was slurping. What's slurping? The word was slurping. I would love a slurpee, actually. That'd be don't, no, don't that's look at the word. That's just a note slurping. Jobin has. Yeah, I want slurping. He's yeah. doing yeah. later. Yeah. Uh, so, Favorite sound, slurping. So you guys are in the Fogwood Forest. Ooh. Fogwood Forest. Is that is what it's similar what to the Milfwood? Yeah, it's too bad. Is it, it's, is it's, it Milfwood adjacent? No, it's not. Milfwood is so far away. It's a magical land. It really is. I um, <laughs> but you guys have been traveling for a while, you have the map, uh, okay. and you know that you're trying to travel through this forest. You are looking for a temple, and in that temple is the Horn of Calamort. Mm -hmm. And that is what uh, they have sent you, the merchant uh, Corian has sent you guys to try to find. Okay. His name was Corin? Corian? Corian. Corian. Okay. Like Coriander. Uh -huh. I'd like to no. uh, <laughs> like to check our map, do a perception check to see how far away we are approximately. Okay. Okay. I got, I got a nine. You look at the map, you just know that you are in the forest. You know that there's a mine coming up and oh, okay. uh, uh, through the mine is more of the forest. Mm -hmm. So you can uh, go along the forest, okay. around it, or you can take a shortcut. The map oh, okay. uh, indicates a shortcut. I'd like to, I'd like to tell it to the guys. Guys, uh, we're right by the mine of uh, Kelzanad. And uh, I actually, uh, I have a cousin who worked in the Kelzanad mines. It'd be a quick shortcut right through the mines and uh, we'll come out on the other entrance and it'll save us a little time on this journey. What do you guys? Dwarves and their mines yeah, and their cousins. We, Isn't there a movie we mine or a stuff. book about We this? should head or that direction, yes? Uh, it would be a the play. Mm. A play yeah. or uh, perhaps a, a book so, that someone has written. Mm. So is this mine completely safe? Yeah, all dwarven mines are safe. Oh, there was that one collapse and that one other time the thing happened. Mostly they're safe. Don't ask questions. You all met as prisoners on a paddy wagon of sorts. Mm -hmm. uh, feel free to use this time to let's get to know the characters a little bit. Is yeah. Find out who's who and who are these people on your team and can they all be trusted? Hmm? Well, really quick guys, I'm the smallest one here so I should talk first because you guys probably won't you know, notice me. Um, I just wanted to say hi, you know, I'm Debra, I'm a little nefarious, I feel loyal to you guys, but I, I am pretty skeptical, cynical. And I just want to right now uh, let you guys know that uh, I don't, I don't know about this guy who sent us on this mission. Yes, right. the merchant Corian. Corian. See, he has the original map, and yet he gave us a horribly drawn copy, and yet he warned us of others coming, others who may or may not have been spying on us, because I, I, I witnessed that. And as we've been you know, traveling, I put it all together, I feel like he didn't tell us something. Hmm. I feel like maybe he's got other you adventurers out him? here. No, no, no. I've got a very uh, cynical and, and skeptical nature. I think we should be on guard. Do you, you, you want to prank him? Is that? I do. I do, okay. I do want to prank him. I want I to take my magic hand. Right. I want to well, tickle him. Guys, and you're a spy. What do you think of all this? You think, uh, you think this is a pretty fairly straightforward, safe mission? I don't trust him, but mm -hmm. I do like money. Uh, yeah, we all do, I think. We, yeah. we all like money, right? Do, I like pranks, <laughs> but I'll take money. I'll take money. I like and, money. And you know, pranks are priceless, but mm. we, you, you can't... Well, you, gotta, you need money for buckets to put over <laughs> yeah. doors. This yeah. is true. And this to pay my bounty when I get captured. Yeah. Bang I think the four bounty. of us are vigilant enough. I think we're strong enough uh, to take on what is coming. Mm. And I, I don't think that we need to be too paranoid about mm. it. Oh, that calms mm. me. Mm? Mm. You have a thought? Uh, oh, Druid, 
ju just that some of our combat tactics as a group uh, didn't mesh the best in the arena. I well, guess. you gave me that height advantage. That's a good point, though. I'm glad you brought that up. I, uh, I'm actually somewhat of a, uh, a handy dwarf, and I, uh, I, I was actually going to try and uh, break out my smith's tools here, which I have in my inventory, and maybe uh, make something out of these axes. I was thinking a cool axe bolus. You know, I got three hand axes, and I got a piece of rope here. If I tie two together, I can make like a bolus that could immobilize people. The, the axes would act as weights, and then they would also latch, hit onto the rope. Can you, I roll? Wait, if you would like to make it, I'd I'll, like to I'll try and craft yeah. it. Yeah, go ahead, give me a D20. I'm crafting! 18! Oh! oh! That's a good, the bolus. It's good. Yeah! You had some leather strips you put it together? Well, it's a rope. It's a, you know what a, a bola, a bola is? So it's like rope Ebola? here, it's and then at the end, you throw it, it's and it yeah. wraps around something. Okay. Yeah, so here's a hand axe. And then so would the weights of the axe kind of throw off the momentum? No, no, so if you had, I wish I could demonstrate for you. I'm you glad had, you can't actually. If you had a rope with something tied here, and here you, know you could a tether swing ball it around. And a yeah. Your leg is the pole, and the weights are the tether ball on yeah. a string. Uh, so it it'll around. automatically wrap all the way uh, okay. around. Okay. Will, do you want me to pull no, the video how a bolo works? I know how they work. I just with an axe because it's the sharp part that because it'll because it's got the handle on the. On I mean, the hopefully it'll sink into them and. and oh, cut them and then go around and then the other. Yeah, that'll be fine. Wow, that's good. So TM cool. allows it. So, I, so I've crafted this. Ah, ah, the axe, Bola. It, TM. No one else can make these. Uh, have you <laughs> used an axe bola before? Nah, but I'm sure it'll work. So uh, you've made an axe bola. Yeah, I feel I feel like I'm prepped for this journey. Yeah. I rolled an 18 though, so I feel like it's it has advantage. Yeah, uh, if you kill anyone with it, it'll be like they have the Axe Bola virus. <laughs> yes! <laughs> uh, does anyone else want to prepare? Like, you guys are walking along the trail right now. Is there anything else you guys want to do as, as to you're traveling together yeah. to prepare? I have a question. Tinkerer's tools, what can I make again? Um, not a, so you're gonna- A tiny can, toy that moves like- Yeah, it's just little, like little, like, like little, little scraps together. Yeah. yeah, he could make one of those. Like I, I would like to, as we're walking, I'd like to quickly, just for fun, because I'm a gnome, take out my tinkerer tools. And as we're walking, I'm just gonna tinker, make a, make a little little guy. He's got like two feet, you know, you wind what, him what up. Are you, what materials are you using? Um, just like yeah, metal oh, pieces? Oh, or yeah, is yeah, it like yeah. stuff around? Uh, I'm gonna use uh, spare gears that I always keep in my pocket. So I would like to, with my tinkerer's tools, and uh, I'm, a, I'm a rock gnome. I got just a bag of metal. The little, little knickknacks, right? Little that knickknacks. I can, I'm a tinkerer. Uh, I wanna put together like a little, little toy that I like wind up and it just walks, just walks. So, so it's got some cogs in it, is what Yeah, 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 yes. I would like okay. to make a, a cogged me. machine that I twist roll, and it walks forward. Roll and give your wisdom. Six. Six. Uh, eight. That's eight. Uh, yeah, it's it's maybe not impressive, but it keeps but it you works. entertained. Yeah. All oh, right, I got a little friend, guys, and I'm naming it Jimmy Debra. Jimmy Debra. I got a little Jimmy Debra. Uh, your hammer is little Debbie, mm -hmm. and you got Jimmy. All right. Uh, I got Jimmy is there any conversations, Sky or or or? Yeah. Kaizen. I would actually like to make a either a nature or survival check, whatever you think. Yeah, go for uh, it. Uh, use can... my herbalism kit to potentially make uh, some healing remedies. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah do it. Give me a nature wow. check. Give nature. me a nature check. You're useful. Well, that didn't go right. Four. Uh, four. <laughs> You're just gonna make some. Uh, some at bad this medicine. location, <laughs> no. Okay. No healing herbs. No healing herbs here. Um, it gives us diarrhea. Yeah. <laughs> now we all have the squirts. Thanks! Uh, <laughs> None of you are allergic to poison ivy, right? Uh, yeah, pretty sure everyone Anything is. on your part? Any preparations or just mm. travel? You know, I have 12 shuriken, and I don't really need 12 of them. I'm really going to be throwing maybe like six of them. So I uh, want to make 11 a, now. Well, 11 now. Well, I didn't pick it up? No, because you got escorted out pretty quickly. Mm. Bastards. But note. After you kill people, always call out that you get your items back. Mm, okay. Uh, your dagger's still broken. That yeah, broke I only broke. have one dagger. Yeah, I kind of want to make a, 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 a superstar. A what? Because they're shuriken, so they're stars. I want to make a superstar. I want to make a big one. Take four of them together, and, and, I, and, I, and I seal it together with my carpenters. Yeah. Carpenter's tools. That's not what carpenter tools That's do. That's not what carpenter Why? You should just make a stick you and just stick You can make like a nice chair it. for us to see. Yeah. <laughs> You can like whittle some wood. You can make a wood. Can I make a stuff. bat? Like a baseball bat? Yeah. But you have a sword. That yeah. seems like a less effective. Well, no, she I can want, hand that to I want to right? make a bat that has my stars in it. Okay. Oh, so like a, oh a star bat. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, star bat. 
Sure. Well, that uh, that's not a monk weapon, <laughs> so you will not get your monk advantages. Oh, that's bull. It'll Maybe be it cool. Mm, yeah, what? I still want to make it. All right. Whoa, jeez. Uh, four. Uh, that seven. should be higher for you. All right, so you got seven. All right, uh, you find a branch. It's thick enough. You know that it'll only do a few hits. Maybe one, maybe two. You're, it's not going to be a long-term weapon. But I stick some stars in yes. it, right? It's a star bat? Yes. Okay. All right. Star yes. Yes. A star stick. Yes. Mm -hmm. All, right. All right. Hey, that's really cool what you made. Thanks. Nice. Yeah. Th thanks, man. Thanks yeah. for the support. Uh, I'd like to continue moving. Dang. So as, as, as you guys are talking and building stuff as you walk to kind of keep time, uh, you guys actually come across a small clearing where you do see the mine entrance. The 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 bush, I guess, is just very thick on one side. Not much you can do there. There is a clear path through the forest still along the side of the mines, which it indicates in the map, so you could go that way. Uh, but you have been informed that there is a shortcut no, through the mine. No, let's take a shortcut through the mine. And I'd like to see a uh, perception check just to check the entrance for anything dangerous around the entrance of the mine. Six. Plus. You know, I'm going to give you uh, just dwarven knowledge on this oh, okay. one uh, because you know mines mm -hmm. and and I've been there to the mind of Kelzenad. You have been to this mine. Yeah, my, well, my cousin works there. Oh, okay. I might have visited him. He once. worked there. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so work there. you see that there are um, <laughs> barrels <laughs> placed around the sides of the entrance. Mm -hmm. uh, it's built up, you know, as as mines would have like their their wooden stacks, but on the side of it are are wooden barrels but they're painted red and they have X's on them. Right. Right. Oh. Uh, why don't you roll knowledge for me real fast? Eight. Eight, okay. Uh, it's not a one. Uh, you know that barrels like this are used for their, their explosive. Oh, okay. Uh, that's, that's what I figured red yeah. barrels were. <laughs> so, the, uh, and they are used to either, um, if people are, are attacking the mine, they will actually, uh, dwarves will explode the entrances so that they can't be attacked. Um, also, sometimes you find dangerous things inside. You can destroy them to keep things right. from coming out. Okay, guys, uh, I know about these red barrels. Uh, these are explosive barrels. Now, dwarves will trigger these explosives if like, uh, there's always two entrances to the mine, right? The other side we're gonna pop out on. So if we're being attacked by from this entrance, uh, the dwarves will, will simply ignite the barrels, collapse the mine in a cave-in, and then exit out the other side, away from the enemies. Also, occasionally, uh, we do delve too greedily into the depths <laughs> and awaken things, in which case we would, we would uh, stand outside and then ignite, <laughs> and then try and keep whatever was in there, in there. Uh, that's happened a few times. Well. Um, but you know, they're just, they're, they're a safety precaution. Uh, well, I don't see any dwarves outside of the mine. That is odd! <laughs> I also don't, <laughs> admittedly! I also do not see an invading army, so maybe we can determine that there's something very dangerous inside of the mines, <laughs> and maybe we should just take the long way. I, nah. I have in my toolkit a fire starter. Mm. I can get close, if, if stealthily, taking the thick brush towards the entrance and I can take my floating hand with my fire starter from my toolkit, and I can ignite those barrels if we want to just blow them up. What if there are dwarves? No, 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 guys, this mine is There's a shortcut. Exit. There's another exit. This guy, right? this, what? Yeah, and, this, and we don't want to do that here. You're going to piss off the dwarves. They're probably just inside working on the mine. Let's go in. It's a shortcut, guys. My cousin works here. Everything will be cool. We could, using my magical hand, I could push one barrel to make it roll inside the mine, and I could light it on fire as it goes, and we wouldn't cave in the entrance, but I would blow up one barrel deep down in the hallway, and we could see if anything's in there. What? Uh, you could also just yell. Yeah, or you yell. You guys all have or, night vision, or right? Or we could, oh, you could I do see, have night vision. Yeah. Yeah. dark vision. You we could, could actually see, see in the mine. I forgot that as a yeah. gnome, I can see in the dark. Time out so for one second. I think our food's here. <laughs> So I've described to you the entrance of the mine, maybe to the detriment of <laughs> everything. Uh, but what are you guys doing? So we're taking the shortcut through the mine. All right. Yeah, I'll let's go. We have dark uh, vision. Me and the gnome can see in the dark. It's I too fine. can see in the That's dark. That's too high. All right. Uh, as you guys are having this conversation, uh, you actually hear uh, like steady footsteps of like a group of people, but they sound in unison. It definitely sounds like soldiers, and uh, as you guys are there, uh, you hear the sound. Uh, you don't see anyone yet, but you hear the can footsteps. I, can I make an investigation check just to see, or like a perception check to see if I would have 
If the area has been abandoned, like there's been, re or if there's been recent activity at the mine? Uh, yes, check for that and also give me another nature check because I liked your potion idea. You all don't have a healer here. All right, well, Five. yeah, I got a, a, um, a 10 perception and then a uh, 12 nature. Okay, uh, so you found, let's start with the nature. You found the herbs to uh, enough herbs to make two potions. Okay. Um, and then your perception check says that th this, uh, people are just finding out about this space yet. You don't see any footsteps or anything around. So you guys seem to be the first one that have, at least use, using his map, uh, you were the first ones here. Listen, crew, there right. are footsteps behind us. We need to make a decision. Yeah, into the mines, guys. In the mines in the name of King Essius. Uh, as around the bend, uh, the there's um, a bunch of soldiers. At, at first glance, there, there's more than you want to see. Um, is, but, the, is the king here? Uh, so out trots uh, a soldier with another red cape over his, over his shoulder. So uh, as he trots forth in front of his soldiers, he says, Hold to the name of King Essius. We are the Knights of Targus. And they all go, Whoo! You hear a bunch of them. Uh, we are here to collect it's you for your... Yeah. For the, your outstanding bounty. Uh, uh, small gnome, would mm. you mind lighting one of these barrels for me? Not only will I light one of the barrels, but I would love to help you push it towards their direction. Uh, I have a different plan. Go with that one. Okay. Here are my tools. I hand my tools to Sky for him to use just the fire starter, as it's so simple, it's just yeah. a flint. Uh, I, and uh, Sky casts Vine Whip on one of the barrels, lights the wick, and then- That is a lot of action. in their direction. Like you're you're, you're doing like, extra yeah. actions. I, if I see you take, I have a bunch of guards. If I see you doing something, I might get a reaction roll. Okay, all right. Okay, if that's- if So that's, you can tell me what you want to do and I will stop you throughout the process. All right. Is me handing it. him my tool my action? No. Okay, cool. I'm that just was, helping that, him. That's like a He's asked basic. me for Pretty much, I'm gonna give it I, to you. Uh, what I want to do is I want to light the barrel and then use Vine Whip to fling it in their general direction. Maybe someone else can light it and then- Because can I can, it. I can like get a, a decent amount of force on it and right. because it's a barrel and not a person. Uh, is that what you do? Yes. Okay. Uh, good plan. Oh, oh. So you've lit the barrel. Is that his action? Well, no, he's he's whipped the, the, the. I've the whipped the barrel. barrel and I'm getting ready to fling it in their direction. Um. All right. The soldiers like they're fighting back. So everyone roll for initiative. <laughs> Eighteen. Seventeen. Seventeen. Fourteen. Sixteen. So I go. Oh, after. you started yeah. a fight really fast there, <laughs> Sky. <laughs> um, all right. So your I, action is your you are flinging it. So you've he's whipped pulled, it. He's How pulled close? It toward us. He's pulled. It's, okay. So, so we so got up next to the mine, pretty much, is what I. Yeah. Is, so I'm literally going to fling it in their general direction. How are you lighting this at the same yeah. time? Yeah. He he has the tools. Uh, but I've given them to you. I can't light that. Because okay. my action so I've gotten comes up close to it. You. I've fine whipped it. Okay. And uh, he's preparing I... to light it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'll give you Sorry. a turn before you can pull that off. Okay. Yeah. I, I guess we gotta hold it while he lights this improvised bomb. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, it's so was, it's merely a distraction, so we can yeah. escape into the mines unimpeded. All right. <laughs> Now's the time. Axe bolus, go. <laughs> this will buy us some time. And I whip <laughs> the axe bolus at the nearest soldier. At the nearest soldier, which yeah. technically is the captain, is the captain. Yeah, tie him up. With axes. I'm attempting to immobilize and also maybe do is some he damage. Is close enough? Because it's an axe bolus. Yeah, he. It's an axe bolus. I'll give you a twenty feet on it. Sure. Yeah, I, I rolled a one out. on my my axe bolus. <laughs> okay. Uh, while you're still, it, you haven't <laughs> used it before, so you rolled the one. Uh, it kind of like whips around your hands, and and you just fall down. Oh no! Yeah. <laughs> you still have it. I'm, you are now prone. I'm though. tangled in my axe bullets. <laughs> Someone else do something. If Quite only one of us could have seen this coming. Uh, well, I guess we're starting this fight. I don't want to get near them because this bomb is going towards them. Uh, am I in range enough to do some shuriken damage? Uh, yeah. The captain's yeah. twenty feet away. You have a twenty foot range. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's take out some eyeballs. Here we go. We're just shuriken attacking him. Uh, 13. 13 plus? Wait, 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 no. Yeah, 13. Total's 13? 13. Uh, and that was against the the guard? The, 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 the head guy that's up front, right? Captain? Yeah. Yes, the captain. That's Captain Dunn. Ooh, it's a hit! That's a hit. Ho, 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 with eight damage. 
Uh, what? <laughs> Why? Because I get plus three. That's too much. Hey, damage. <laughs> oh, the captain's getting screwed. With a little Kill the star. captain. But the captain might have potions or armor. Who knows? We don't know yet. I throw a danger star. Uh, he looks wounded. Uh, <laughs> crazy, crazy. Yeah, he thought it was just a surrogate. He's like, oh, it's like in his side. Uh, yeah, yeah, up here. Yeah, yeah, it's up here. Bleeding it's, profusely? He's so, like, oh, I thought it was a main character. <laughs> <laughs> you hit him right in his red room. Oh, no, my shirt is red. It's like, oh, my God, it got through my plot uh, armor. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so what happens is he he uh, knees. What's when you have a horse? The horse. Yeah, knees. knees backwards, and it's like ah, they got me. He goes back, but because you attack the captain, uh, uh, they get a counter attack on you. Uh, so one arrow comes at you for sixteen. Does that beat your AC? Uh, it does by okay. one. Ooh. Uh, D four, and you take. Gosh. Uh, oh my gosh! Uh, Poor damn. It got sent right back to you. Jeez. You have not made those potions yet. No. <laughs> and I just have the, the herbs in my You're gonna inventory. need those potions. Yes. Um, we survived this, yeah, it's, it's gonna be fun. Don't worry, we time. got a literal grenade flying at them. Yeah, and they're uh, somebody bomb them. Uh, well, it's, and it's bigger than a grenade. These, uh, are, these are like demolition barrels. <laughs> four guards just kind of like go up in the spot. That's not their action. They're just moving into combative places now. Mm -hmm. Are they uh, protecting the, the what's, the, what's the, happening? The, the captain has just kind of like gone back in the ranks. Okay, but he's not in a full retreat. <laughs> what a no, it's not a full retreat. Okay. Is it my turn or the It's still uh, oh, God. It is now, uh, so your turn is on, you're still building your turn. It's now your turn. My turn. I see that the captain is retreating uh, and I use my command spell uh, on his horse, <laughs> which is in a gallop and I tell it um, fear. No, 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 I tell it halt. I tell against it to, the horse? Against the horse to stop immediately in its tracks. All right. I want it to just stop, hopefully to throw the captain off of his horse. Do you like fear? All right, uh, yeah, give me a, give me, roll a d20. Uh, I'm gonna tell it to halt. I don't want to scare anyone. I want them to all be close for your explosion. Let's do it, 17. 17? Yeah, yes. I rolled a 17. Yeah, okay, uh, the horse stops. <laughs> uh, and yet, Okay, yeah, sure. My plot character is getting thrown off of a horse. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna kill him. Let's take him out. Go for the this battle. Snake. Promote someone else to do the exact yeah. same. <laughs> there, there might be some promotions going yeah. on later. All right, the sergeant uh, is gonna get picked up. <laughs> he's falling off the horse. Uh, yes. And the horse is just kind of neighing. Whoa, let's murder this big <laughs> yeah, Let's do it. He's already bleeding. He's on the floor. I, I say as I'm trying to untangle my Let's hope he gets infection. Okay. Uh, all right, so that was a good turn. Uh, technically, my soldiers should have gone. We just say you talk fast. Uh, you yes. talk, you, I'm you so talk small, fast. they didn't see me. Uh, so the four soldiers that actually walked up into place, we have um, one of them walks up to you, prone on the ground, wow. with my advantage. Uh, those are 16s, do they, uh, so that is, uh, oh, did I write it down? So what it's, it's a sword, so it's just, uh, it's a plus three. So 19. My, it doesn't beat it, it's a tie. Ties hit. Uh, Jesus. Nope, nope, that's a one. Oh, that's a one? Oh, that's, that's a one. That's a one. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, that's a bad roll. Uh, so you take one damage. Really? I'm tangled in my own thing here, that's the best you could do? You suck! <laughs> I, just to, I just wanted to taunt him. Uh, that's good. Yeah, I'll come back and bite you in the ass, I'm sure. Uh, Alright, against Mari. Jeez. Uh, that's, that's 20. That's a hit. Jesus. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> you took four damage. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you should Can we run. see that she's pretty gravely wounded? Yeah, yeah no, she's, she's taking hits. Oh, uh, how about them heels? <laughs> <laughs> oh, does someone uh, have that ability? <laughs> <laughs> Tyson, fall back into the mine, we'll protect you. Uh, My suggestion, everyone fall back into the mine. Plans have changed a little bit. They okay. closed the gap quite quickly. Those two guys, um, one of them starts walking towards you. You were further away from everyone, so they didn't make it all the way. And then we have, that's one, two, three, four, and uh, one, one of them is walking towards you, mm -hmm. going for a, a quick little strike. Uh, nine plus three is a 12. Uh, I only have 11 armor, so it hits. Really? Yeah. 
Oh my god. Mm. Oh, oh my god. That's half for, my health. For five. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna make sure that guy shits his pants later. That'll be pretty bad. Who's third? Uh, now we go to top of. Um, you have know, the other guards that are just kind of there, yeah. seeing and waiting, um, waiting for orders because they're. Their captain just fell, so they're trying to help the captain he's out. Bleeding, he's on the floor. Uh, and we are at top of initiation, uh, in initiative, which is me, which is Krulax, and okay. you can get up as a free action. Okay, that I, is your move. I would like to get up. I I free myself from my hastily constructed bolus, <laughs> and I'm like back to good old Axie, and I take a swing at this guard who has poked me for a little damage, and I roll a four because I can't roll. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I still was getting free. Do and you? I whiffed. That was a miss. I can grab the boluses. Yeah, okay, Together. I missed. I whiffed. Yeah. All right. <laughs> um, now that puts I us... I swing and I'm like, oh, I was still tangled a little bit, I guess. <laughs> uh, that puts us at you. I only have one health, but if I run, he's gonna he's gonna attack me, so I might as well kill him before. Stand firm, yes. All right, I'm gonna take my sword out. Let's go. Let's go for do the it. juggler. All right. Swing. And 16. 16, that is a hit. Ooh. How much damage? Four. Four kills him. Ah! Yes! There's a lot what of soldiers. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh nice. wow. I go for a slice of the eyeballs first, and then a slice of the mouth, and then a slice of the throat, and that okay, is Okay, it was everything. a four. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's good. That was good. So I get a, another strike then, because uh, four. So they're, yeah, they're four strikes. Uh, oh no, yeah, you get four make... strikes, yeah. Yeah. Um, great, uh, he's dead. You don't have to worry about your bonus attack because it would be an unarmed strike and there's no one else next to you. Can she move now that she's, can she attack then move? Yes. Okay. Okay, run, I'm- Run to the mine! And then I am moving straight into the mine. I am running, I'm bolting. One is, health! Usain bolting away? Yes. Okay. Usain bolting um, away. Over to- Yeah, uh, yeah, okay. What do you got? Uh, last time we saw your turn, you started all this mess by vine whipping a barrel and I made you wait a turn to figure out what was going on here. Okay. Um, so I'm going to use my bonus action to light the barrel. Okay. Because uh, in that, you were able to pull it closer to you. You're still attached. Uh, I'm going to uh, leap using my super leap into the air to build momentum. And then I'm going to vine whip the barrel at the captain and the people helping him. You're going to use <laughs> jump? So jump, right, creates momentum and force. And then I'm going to use the, I, the magic of the whip. Oh, uh, sure, yeah, I'll let you do it. The magic of the whip to whip it extra distance. Damn, uh, that's some uh, anime uh, shit. That's, oh, whoa. Uh, that's some druid shit. You've got acrobat, what's your acrobatics? Plus three? Uh, my acrobatics is plus three. Yeah, I'll give me an acrobatics check. Okay. Damn it. What'd you no. roll? You rolled a four. Okay, uh, you know what? It, it still has the, um, this wasn't an attack, this is an action. So it is moving the distance. Uh, it is lit and has been thrown uh, towards the front uh, line of, oh so behind the soldiers that you're fighting, towards the front line behind them. But my landing's probably not the best. Uh, oh yeah, uh, you roll a four? Yeah, roll a d4 for me. Uh, that's a three. That's a three, uh, plus proficiency. You're only gonna take one here. One, okay. Um, as you land. And uh, the <laughs> barrel is only, it's 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 lit. There's like, a, you know, you lit the fire, but it's thrown so the gunpowder's going along with it. So it, you see it, the gunpowder kind of going and following the barrel that's now rolling to hold, towards the soldiers. <laughs> nice. And it is uh, the soldier's turn, actually. Okay. So they're like, ah, what? <laughs> so they start to back up a little bit and trying to like get the uh, the commander back there. Uh, commander's weak though. That's why I threw He's a barrel. Bleeding. Yeah. He's bleeding. He's, He's bleeding. He got uh, shirt And thrown off of a horse. <laughs> yeah. And he just had an explosive barrel thrown in his general direction. Yeah, yeah. Uh, great. Uh, who's, so I got one dead guy. I've got uh, the guy fighting you. Yeah. The guy fighting me as well. Whoa! Oh, wow! Jovens! Sweet! Where are my rolls like that? All right, damage me, bro. Ooh, and you've got so much armor, too. It Four. Four. Oh, I'm down to I'm down to eight. I'm still alive. Wow, you have a lot of health. Wait. What? Okay. Yeah. Uh, He's a so describe boy. what happened. Yeah, so uh, Is that as you, no? you, what did you try to, you, you swiped and you missed him. Yeah. And he just countered. He's surprised to be, to be alive. He thinks that he's the hero of this story. Yeah. He can now become the captain of that other guy. Yeah. Dies, yeah. And just slices across and 
And uh, and Nixie in the beard. Ah! Not the beard! Oh, yeah. This dude dodged my attacks and is kicking my ass. I really feel like he's underappreciated within the soldier hierarchy. <laughs> Can I just point this out? Your captain's over there bleeding. This guy's f- up. Uh, <laughs> the captain takes note of what you've yelled. <laughs> can the other soldiers take note too and be like, maybe uh, this guy should be getting so, Yeah, can there be a coup? And then, um... <laughs> that would be really funny. Uh, I'm gonna call him Gary. Gary's Gary's on fire today. Gary, you're doing a great <laughs> job, Gary. Soldier at you. All right, so this is the soldier on West. As he lands, uh, the soldier kind of moves up to get a little bit closer. Um, you were too nimble for this soldier. So as you're landing, even though you took a... Damage to kind of get away from the sword. The sword makes it right past you. You never get the hit. Hmm. Um, There's and then, someone stabbing me. Yep. He uh, stabbed me last turn. He did. Mm-hmm. <laughs> For half my health. <laughs> uh, what are you at now? All right. uh, five health. I've got 11 armor. Let's see. I believe. Oh. Uh, that is a 9 plus 1, 10. <gasps> oh, I survived. <gasps> I survived. <gasps> uh, all right. He's still next to you. Oh, that's uh, fine. And my other soldiers are trying to back away from uh, the, the barrel that just got thrown. Is the barrel is the barrel rolling and the soldiers is the barrel soldiers captain or is the barrel in between the soldiers rolling towards the captain? So the guys that you are fighting, mm-hmm. and then there's a small gap of, of ground, mm-hmm. and then the soldiers are trying to move away from the uh, the rolling barrel, and the captain is in the middle of that. And how far is the captain from the rolling barrel? Uh, with the people that are there, he might not take a lot of damage if it were to go off right now. Okay. Uh, can I perception check to see how uh, uh, how the captain is doing? Is he being helped? Is he about to escape? You're short and there's a lot of chaos. You're not going to see much. Mm-hmm. I'm, okay, can I do acrobatics and jump on top of the guy attacking me in order to get a better sight? Line uh, of sight? Yeah. <laughs> can I roll for some crazy flips? Sure. And do What's your acrobatics? Uh, my acrobatics is plus three on dexterity. Okay, sure. Roll for it. All right, let's see if I can fly in the air and get a clear line of sight of this captain. I'm counting do this it, as Dan. your movement action by the way. 14. Wow. Plus three? 17. 17. Uh, yes, you've climbed up the confused soldier's uh, shoulders. What do you want to do? <laughs> well, now with my extra height, I would like to be able to see whether or not uh, the captain is still on the ground hurt or if he's being helped up and escorted away. He's from... being helped, but he's not moving quickly. Okay. You have Eldritch Bolt. Don't yes, you? from my new line of sight, I would like to <laughs> Eldritch yes. Blast. Yes. 120 yes. foot That's range. That's amazing. From this area down, and I would like to aim That's specifically so for in between both the captain <laughs> and the person who is grabbing him and helping him up. I want to blast in between them to make sure that, that the captain stays there. I want to disable Roll him. with advantage. <laughs> my plot armor. 16. Yeah, 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 yeah. Roll one more, roll one more. Uh, yeah, roll yeah one you roll advantage. one more. You might can, uh, can, I, can I roll the same one same again? Same one, 16 cool. and... One. Well, okay, you, got, you get the 16. Yeah. Uh, cool. Is 16 plus your spell? Oh, uh, plus three. Okay, so 19. 19 and I get to roll 1d10. 1d10 for damage, great. It hits. Seven. Seven. Uh, you. I, I, I did do it in between them, so it's oh, okay if you were to set them down. Seven, so we'll cut half damage. Uh, you took off his arm. Perfect. You took off the captain's arm. <laughs> and and nice. did I hurt the guy who was helping him? Uh, he fell backwards. It'll take but like some But they're separated. The, yeah. the barrel's still going. We're good, guys. While I'm fighting Gary, I'm like, Gary, we're going to get you that promotion. <laughs> yeah, that's what Deborah's that on it. We're all going for Gary. Uh, I'm also on top of the guy who was just about to kill me, so I don't know what to do now. <laughs> uh, I can't move anymore. I'm stuck on his shoulders. <laughs> Ride the pony. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, that's... All right, top of initiative. Laser going, you want to do something? Yeah, I, I mean, <laughs> man, I don't really want to hit Gary. I have a, I have a kind of a respect uh, for what it's but worth. Right next to me, huh? Your, your gnome buddy is on top of a guy right now. Yeah. Uh, with like a hit point left. Oh, okay. All right, so. Uh, and you've got a bolus. Oh, come on. <laughs> what? Do I still have the bolus? You, yeah, 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 you still have it. Okay, can I shove Gary back and yes. as a free action? Yeah, as a free I, action. I'd like to shove idea. Gary away because he's earned my respect, <laughs> uh, and I'm really hoping he gets this promotion. Strength. And then I'd like to wind up the bolus again. Wait, wait, wait. Strength check oh. against the, the soldier. Yeah, against Gary. <laughs> oh, 19. 19. 22. Right. 22. You push him back oh 10 God. feet. And Gary he, like, stumbles. Yeah. yeah, he stumbles back. He's <laughs> strong. He's, uh, dwarf. he's not yeah, right. Yeah, actually, no, he's prone. He's prone. You pushed him 10 feet back, yeah. and he's on the ground. It's like, Gary, I'm sorry, man, but I don't want to kill you because you've earned my respect. Now, bolus at this other guy. 18! Oh, yes! Axe yes! bolus, go! Um, actually, 
Yeah, all right. Uh, roll, roll, roll for you got two axes on there? Yeah. All right, what's <laughs> one? <laughs> yeah, roll both axes. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, so nice. that's, both axes. So I'm rolling With D6. 1d6 for each axe, yeah. Oh, great. Five. <laughs> and? Two. Seven. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, so he's on top of the guy's shoulders. He's kind of confused. Walk me through the death. Okay, so then, so yeah, he's stumbling. He's like, what is that, a gnome? And then one of the one of the axes from the axe bola comes fleeing out of nowhere. Ah! Hits him right in the face and like stinks, s s sinks in. And he's like, ah, axe on my face. And then the other axe whips around, getting tighter and tighter like a tetherball. And just as he's about to yank it free, the other axe cracks him in the back of the skull. And his brains leak out and he falls over, still leak trying to pull out. the axe. Out of All his right. face. You you specifically show his face. Uh, I need oh, yeah. you He's to. On the I need yeah. you. Wait, How much life do you have? Um, I've got five, but I'm very acrobatic. All right, uh, roll the d20. Yeah, I should a d20. Show his face. <laughs> okay. yeah. Am I rolling for dexterity? You're rolling your acrobatics. Acrobatics. So okay. Whatever I get plus three. Yeah. 11 plus 3, 14. 14, all right, you're fine. Did you jump yeah. out of the way yeah, of Yeah, you jump out. Yeah. Can I do like, like a, a cool backflip? Uh, no, no, just jump off. Okay. Yeah. I, you don't want to mess with me anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm staying yeah. conservative yeah. here. Yeah. I'm being conservative. I step off daintily. Okay, there you go. <laughs> and you land, you land like a feather. Step yeah. off. All right, uh, and yeah, you've killed the guy. He's dead. Cool. Dead, dead. Super dead. Can I Gary, on the other hand, impressed by you. Oh, yeah? There's a mutual respect there, I feel like. Also, can I can I flee still? Or can I move or no? Uh, you did give me a shove as a free wait, action. Yeah, you were already standing up. Yeah, no, you have a move action. Oh, okay, cool. I'd like to retreat to the mines. And now that you're free of the guy, everyone back to the mines. Let's fall back. I move last. Okay. Uh, the, the soldiers are going to move before I'm able oh, to retreat. Well, just so everyone knows. Uh, you're quick and tiny. I believe in you. <laughs> Laser Gordon, uh, you've made it back. You're, you're closer to the, the... Closer to the mine and farther away from the exploded yes, girl. Yes, uh, mm -hmm. you... I'm in the mines. You're in the mines. I, I'd like to see, I, I'd like to use my dark vision to see if there's anything in the mine that I can use as a weapon uh, to help out with. Uh, you're looking for a weapon? Or uh, anything. Roll a, I, I'd roll like to perception. see what's in there. Mm -hmm. 19. Oh. All right, you see a lot of cobwebs um, and some rocks and uh, some fungus, actually. Okay. Ooh. You're just at the entrance of the okay. mine. But okay. you see deep down and it looks, nothing looks disturbed, nothing looks bad. It's safe. Cool. Uh, all right, so that was her turn. You're gonna hide behind a rock just in case? Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'm inside the mine. Which I, now I, takes I me to uh, uh, Wes. You had an action and you did the action from last turn. That's gonna take place at the same time, uh, pretty much, with like moments apart here. So okay. you got a flaming, exploding barrel down towards these soldiers. What are you gonna do? Uh, so I begin calmly walking toward the mine and I use mold earth around the explosive to create a shape charge, which sends oh, the explosion ah. at the soldiers yes. and not toward the mine. Yes. Thank you. But it's I was just, it's just, as it's just dirt. Before, it's just dirt. When well, did the explosion go through well, dirt? It's it'll, just, it'll, it says it'll molder. Something. You can control the dirt and ground. So yeah. realistically, it'll, I can make. It'll dampen. Mm -hmm. It'll dampen it. Mm -hmm. uh, who's close? You're like far, you're near the I'm the closest. Pretty much, I'm uh, trying. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm creating. Creating Hold a shape all right, to so shoot all the that's what you're doing with your soldiers. action. All right, uh, I'm rolling for soldiers here. Uh, uh, you just saved Gary. <laughs> <laughs> yes! yes! It worked! It worked! I wanted to save Gary! <laughs> <laughs> We're going to recruit Gary, right? Yeah. We have to recruit no, Gary. No, I mean, he should yeah. join the squad. I, I really, he has I, to I, join us. <laughs> Look, yeah. I'm not saying that was part of the plan, but uh, with Gary got the same. Uh, what's fire damage? It's D6. Uh, go ahead and roll, oh jeez, roll three D6s for me, Wes. Three D6s? Okay. Four. Six. Three. Uh, 13 damage. So 13 feet into them. Oh. Yeah, uh, you killed a bunch of soldiers, including the captain. Yeah! We got the captain! Suck in yeah! character! Battlefield promotion for Gary! Yeah! 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 Uh, He's the now. So sad Perception looking. check, how many soldiers left? I rolled a one. Wow. The fog from the barrel uh, wait, wait, I still have to go. Uh, uh, actually, uh, that's a good point. Give me perception checks across the way. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, Mari, you're at disadvantage. 22. 17. So roll one more time to oh, take the lowest number. Okay, you're 22. 22. Great. Perception check. 16, what's, what does perception do? What, uh, what you're I just add? 16. 
Oh, uh, I'm 15. All right, so you're 15. All right, so you especially see it. Okay, so you guys see, you see nothing. You were too close to the blast. <laughs> explosion. I'm back at this the mic. Yeah, you were running backwards. Yeah. Oh, you did the cool guy walk. Yeah, you did the cool from guy the explosion. Don't look at explosions. Yeah, <laughs> with like dirt shooting over your nice. shoulders. There you go. I love it. Um, so you guys actually see rustling in the trees and in the bushes around because they were down a path and the path was really just affected because of the blast. Mm -hmm. The trees, not so much. So there's no fires being put out anywhere. It's just like an explosion shot. Mm -hmm. uh, but you do see rustling from those trees that don't seem like they were from the blast. Mm -hmm. uh, you, with your role, you actually see um, uh, these robed individuals. And it wasn't communicated. Okay, so you see robed individuals, but they aren't like desert robes. They are like full robes with hoods on, uh, and they are coming out of the out of the woods with weapons. Oh, oh, like the people we saw back in town. Technically, player knowledge, the, mm -hmm. the people yeah, that you yeah, saw. Yeah, the people that yeah. I was able, but I communicated. Oh, that's right, yeah. So, so, then, yeah communicate. so then you know that these that were the other were. people uh -huh. that were paying attention to you. Uh -huh. uh, and other than the soldiers. Yes, and you are wow. seeing from like the woods, uh, uh, just a, a bunch of them kind of coming out. More than a few, more than two. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, all right, so notice that. Um, uh, uh, actually, because that was the perception check, uh, Gary. It's Gary stands up. I mean, all sees of his, you guys. His whole but, platoon just got yeah, wiped out. Yeah, he, uh, he wait, pulls. Wait, are they all wiped out? Or? They aren't all wiped out. No. Uh, but he has to go look over the mound. Uh, Gary actually steps back to the mound to kind of see what happened and starts to like walk slash run forward. It's like, oh, hold on, and he starts to move towards his men. You guys can't really see too much because you have that mound. Oh no, the mound was destroyed. Uh, is geez, Gary yeah. mad at us? Uh, uh, oh, Gary is going to see who these other intruders are and and be there for his guard. <gasps> no, Gary. Mm. No, Gary. Don't do it, Gary. Um, so all right. Uh, so we just mind. had an explosion go off. Uh, you might actually be hearing like a, a dinging sound. Mm -hmm. It's loud. Mm -hmm. um, I would like to, uh, as I see. Okay, so I'm aware of the rustling. I see that there's there's people going around. Um, I'm not sure who they are, I wasn't able to see, but what I do see through all the ringing is I see Gary <laughs> running back towards his troops. No, Gary! I take out my Jimmy Debra, my little toy that I made, my little friend Jimmy Debra. I use my mage hand, hold Jimmy Debra, and I launch my mage hand out. How far away? How he's, he's about, he was 20 feet, moved 10 feet, so he's 30 feet, so he's- 30 feet, he is at the exact range of my mage hand, <laughs> which I go out to meet him at 30 feet, and I hand him little Deborah. <gasps> I'm very interested to see how he'll react <laughs> to being handed an object by his enemies. Right? I Let's hand see him, how this plays out. I hand him little Deborah. Dude. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he's like, ah, witchcraft! But right? it, and he hits it away, but then he looks over, and looks at you curiously, and then looks back at the toy. <laughs> you give him one of these. Just this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. With my magic hand, yeah. I give him, I give him both a, a shaka bra, and I give him a thumbs up. So my hand gives him a shaka, and he looks back and he sees me at the mine, and I give him a thumbs up. <laughs> and then with my movement, I run back into the mine. <laughs> That's so Did funny. he see the thumbs up? He saw the thumbs up. He saw, yeah! the thumbs up. He saw my thumbs up. Uh, I gave him top Jimmy of, Debra. Uh, top of initiative, uh, everyone roll a perception check for me. Oh, and I ran Mom back Harry. to the mine. Two. Four. I perceive eight. nothing. I'm still looking uh, in the wrong way. Two, I have four, an, uh, 11. Two, four, eight. 11. He got 16. All right, uh, Wes, you actually see the uh, robed figures starting to take out swords. And you guys all can hear, uh, they have weapons! Start a retreat! Which way do we go? Towards the forest! Okay. Guys, uh, let's retreat into the mines. We'll cut them off, we'll, we'll close, we'll use the remaining barrels to close the entrance of the mine. No one will follow us! My plan exactly. Okay! Who's got, you got the fire starter? Yes. Everyone into the mine! Can he run in with I, us? I, I yeah, ran in with my last action. Okay, everyone into the mines, but first, I grab my bolus! <laughs> and, uh, and... And, and, and my star. Kaizen, Kaizen grabs the star, yeah. And then we go into the mines and I say, Sky, fire it up! Use uh, the fire starter on the remaining barrels! I, I light the remaining barrels and then I use Mold Earth to create a sign that just says, Live, Gary. <laughs> oh. and, yeah, you, uh, you can do that. You with with uh, you can write. Uh, yeah, you can write letters. Uh, letters in, wow. in the dirt. Live, Gary! And then. And, wait, hold on. Gary sees this. Oh, yes! 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 This is how you Thank use goodness. magic. And then we all flee into the mine. <laughs> we all run into um, the mine. Did you 
like make any because it's just a barrel full of gunpowder. Did you just light it? Well, it's I lit the they're, they're fuse. The, oh, right, the fuse on top. Yeah, okay, I lit the fuse. Yeah, they're okay. they're there to demolish that. Uh, yeah. So, uh, all right. Um, uh, geez, yeah. All right, you guys walk away. Uh, you move further in. You all have night vision, yeah. and so you can see plenty. Uh, as you're, uh, everyone, oh, here you go. Uh, roll d20s, let's roll, is it uh, perception 14. checks, technically. Oof, ten. seven. Uh, you're fine. Perception, uh, 14. 14, everyone's above 10, you're already behind something. You guys duck behind rocks, you're fine when the explosion goes off, you take no damage. Yes! Um, now we're in the mines. And now, yeah, you are, uh, okay, cool. And we have a new friend, guys. I Gary. think. Maybe. I think. If you Gary didn't, lived. He didn't seem to like your toy. No, he was scared. He was scared, but, he but then saw the over. shaka and the thumbs up. Now and my sign. And he saw the sign. He saw my sign. Live Gary, yes. Very uh, clearly, that was a message. Live Gary, Gary no, lives. Gary's just like, my name's not Gary. <laughs> <laughs> it's Gary. <laughs> We're in the mines now, so now you have to wait till next week. Woo! And we killed the captain. We killed you the captain. Oh, that's captain. right. I you got, thought he was a main character. Yeah, yeah, I got some rewriting he I thought, need to do. He thought he was going to show up later in the story, but he's not. No, no. Gary's Gary, Gary right now. now. Yeah. Did you, did you guys see. notice Ooh, that the guy see. in the first episode with the red cape, it was the same yeah, guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. That's when now we decided to kill him. Yep, not going to be in the next episode, I guess. Cool. Dang, he ain't going to be in the next episode. Yeah, guys, we've got more episodes next week, but every Thursday over on the Jovenshire channel, another campaign going on. different so maybe check party. that out. Go yeah, yeah. Out. Go check that out. And uh, check out these guys' channels, too. Links will be in the description. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Thanks, y'all. Bye. Bye, Gary. All right. This link over here will take you to the next episode if it's up. If not, you'll have to wait till Friday. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And if you want to take a peek at what's going on in Joven's campaign this week, why not click on this video over here to the left? Okay. See ya.